to Nice to Be Here. I'm in Medellin, Colombia. It's the city of eternal spring. And I happen to be staying in a two-story penthouse apartment in Loreles, which is a uh, upscale neighborhood of Medellin, uh, enjoying the beautiful, uh, beautiful weather, beautiful sunshine, the beautiful neighborhood. And uh, happy to be with you today. Typically, marketing is going around and knocking on doors, trying to get people to buy your product and or selling is and marketing is not far behind uh, because it's always about pulling people into uh, your 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 field of influence and then convincing them somehow that you are the person that they should be talking to for whatever problem it is that you solve in your life. And with reverse marketing uh, and typically the, what it entails is put up a website, put up a sales copy, put up uh, some more information and then use something like Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, uh, SEO, you know, uh, uh, email marketing, JV. I mean, there's all sorts of ways that you can then drive traffic to your offer. But uh, what, what I found was that was really a difficult, first of all, it's difficult to do well because you have to be a very good copywriter, you have to be a very good salesperson, because it's cold sales. Cold sales are the hardest sales ever. They, my whole business has been always about warm referrals. And typically what happens is somebody gets together with coffee, like you'll get together and have coffee with somebody, and they'll say, oh, Dwayne, I have this problem. And then they'll tell you about the problem, and then you'll go, oh, call my buddy Scott. He'll solve the problem. And then what happens is they call me, and they say, Dwayne Richards uh, told me to call you, Scott, because I have this problem, and he said you could fix it. And then I'll listen to them, and then I'll fix the problem. And typically, if somebody calls me and they just say, you know what, Scott, I saw your website, and I have this problem, and I think you can solve it, uh, I'll give them like three tasks to do because they're not a warm referral, and I don't want them as a customer typically because usually – it's not a good experience for either of us because there is no relationship built. So cold prospecting works both ways. I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. We have to figure it out. But when Dwayne says, you know what, this guy's a really good guy, Scott. Uh, he, you know, he needs help. Can you help him? And he's, you say to the, the other person, you know, Scott's a really good guy. He can help you. Then we have that beginning of a relationship. And that's a strong relationship. That's the type of relationship that I want to have. And so how do you do that? Uh, really, it's through people experiencing you and who, who you are. So there was a, a website called Udemy that has online video courses. And what I realized is, is if I put up a course that's uh, 60 minutes, 90 minutes on one area of expertise that I have, and then somebody watches it, that's, they now have an hour to an hour and a half of Scott. And they know either I'm a total dunce and an idiot, or they know I'm a total genius. Uh, they know that they like the way that I communicate, or they don't. So what happens is, is I've, I've started to begin the relationship building already. They know who I am. They know about my area of expertise. And they've, if they've listened to me for an hour to an hour and a half, they, they can either put up with me or not put up with me. Because there's some people that... You know, in the world, like they listen to you and they go, oh, I don't like the sound of your voice. I don't like the pace of your, or your tone, or I don't like, you know, the, the way you approach problems. And so those aren't my customers, right? And I'm very, very clear on who my customer is. And I think if you're very, very clear on who your customer is and you put together an hour to an hour and a half course, and then you put it in front of 12 million people, uh, I think you're going to find that you have enough business to keep you busy. Now, what happens with Udemy and you put the courses up in front of Udemy is they'll actually pay you. They will do the marketing. They, was, they said, look, Scott, we've got 12 million students. Some of them like to know about podcasting. Some of them like to know about this. Some of them like to know about accounting. And so we're going to put that information in front of them. And we're very good at marketing. So we're going to do the advertising. We're going to put the Facebook uh, ads up, the AdWords ads up. We're going to be doing JVs. And we're going to be putting them on other websites and doing all these things for you. And we're just going to split it. So there's no cost to you for any of this. Uh, but there is a real opportunity for you to get people into your course. And if they come into your course and they pay for the course, we're going to pay you money. 
So instead of going to Facebook and saying, Facebook, here's $300, send me 5,000 people and hopefully two or three people sign up, Udemy is going to say, here's 500 people and some of them are going to take the course and then what happens? Well, they know who you are. So at the end of the course, you say, you know what, here are your next steps. And so Udemy pays me for the customer, my potential customers to come, listen to me for an hour or two, and then... It's my job to, at the end of teaching them whatever I teach them, to say, you know what, here's how you can fast track your, uh, your learning, your success, whatever it is that I have to be teaching. Uh, get a hold of me. I can do some coaching. I can do some consulting. I have a mastermind program. I have whatever these things are that I'm going to offer them. I have an accounting business where I do a consulting for you. doesn't matter where you are in the world. I can show you how to get more out of your accounting, in your, in your case, Dwayne. And the result of that is huge credibility and huge access to potential, to really targeted potential clients. And that's why reverse marketing is so powerful because it's not cold calling at all. It's here's a bunch of people. And it's not me saying, oh, I've taught 10,000 students how to podcast. It's you to me doing this. So you get this third party endorsement. Uh, and Udemy does a very, very good job of collecting reviews and five-star uh, feedbacks and that sort of thing. So all of a sudden, I can say, I have over a 1,000 reviews of my courses. I have over 40,000 students in all of my courses. I have 64 courses, so I've been doing this for two years. Very, uh, I've been taking massive action, as people talk about. And the result is, is that you, it's not me telling people all these things. It's you to me telling all, and, or my other instructors or the other students saying all these good things. And the result of that, of course, is, is it just snowballs. And whatever your business is, you're able to get really good leads for them.